In the late 1950s, USDA scientists became interested in the polysaccharide produced by the pathogen Xanthomonas campestris. This bacteria showed a fondness for rutabaga leaves, and its protective ooze was found to be remarkably resistant to temperature extremes, pH shifts, and electrolyte assault. By 1959, rotted rutabaga slime was successfully isolated as polysaccharide B1459, which has since become better known as xanthan gum. Today, Van Zandt xanthan gum is produced by the aerobic fermentation of pure culture xanthomonas campestris. After fermentation, the broth is sterilized and the gum is recovered by precipitation with isopropyl alcohol. It is then dried, milled, and packaged under sterile conditions. The xanthan polymer's backbone is cellulose. What makes xanthan gum different from cellulosic thickeners such as CMC, HEC, or HPMC are the trisaccharide side chains with the carboxylate groups that give the gum its negative charge. It's the interaction among trisaccharide side chains that gives xanthan gum its unique solution properties. In solutions of low ionic strength or at high temperature, the xanthan gum chains adopt a random coil configuration because the anionic side chains are mutually repulsive. A small amount of electrolyte reduces repulsion among the side chains. They wrap around and hydrogen bond to the backbone, forming a helical rod. This reverts to the random coil if the gum solution is heated or highly diluted. At electrolyte concentrations greater than about 0.15 molar, however, the rigid helical rod is retained up to 100 degrees C. Protection of the backbone by the side chains explains the unusual resistance to chemical and enzymatic degradation. With electrolyte present, a colloidal network forms based on hydrogen bonding among the helical rods and limited polymer entanglement. Concentrations as low as a tenth of a percent can provide significant viscosity. Concentrations greater than 1% by weight can produce very high viscosity and gel-like consistency. This colloidal network explains the characteristic rheological properties. A certain force, the yield stress, must be exerted before the network can be disrupted. Xanthan gum solutions thereby provide efficient stabilization of emulsions, suspensions, and foams. Once the yield stress is exceeded, these solutions are highly pseudoplastic. Individual polymer molecules align in the direction of the shear force. The extent of this disaggregation is proportional to the shear rate. When shear is removed, the network rapidly reforms. The viscosity is very high when the composition is at rest or subjected to low shear. At high shear, which is frequently encountered when the formulated product is used, the viscosity is significantly lower. The rheology of aqueous xanthan gum solutions is remarkably stable over a broad temperature range, as shown here. The viscosity and yield value of compositions containing xanthan gum do not change significantly between ambient temperature and 60 degrees C. Xanthan gum provides the same thickening, stabilizing, and suspending properties during long-term storage at elevated temperature as it does at ambient conditions. Plus, it ensures excellent freeze-thaw stability. Xanthan gum is an excellent choice for use in both acidic and alkaline compositions. As shown in this table, the viscosity remains nearly constant between pH 2 and pH 12. Below pH 2 and above pH 12, the viscosity tends to decrease slightly. Xanthan gum is compatible with aqueous solutions of common water-miscible solvents. 1% Vanzan solutions, for example, can contain up to 40-50% to glycerol, glycols, glycol ethers, and alcohols without precipitation of the gum. Xanthan gum exhibits excellent compatibility in many strong mineral acid solutions, including those containing 5% hydrochloric, 10% sulfuric, or 40% phosphoric acid, as well as in organic acid solutions such as those containing 20% acetic, citric, or tartaric acid. 
Xanthan gum also provides excellent long-term viscosity stability in alkaline systems, including those containing 5% sodium carbonate, 10% sodium hydroxide, 5% sodium metasilicate, or 5% sodium phosphate. Xanthan gum is compatible with aqueous solutions containing 10% to 15% and in some cases up to 30% of common inorganic salts. These high ionic strength solutions maintain stable viscosity over extended storage periods. Mixtures of xanthan gum with smectite clays or certain galactomannins provide synergistic rheological effects. The mixtures produce greater viscosity and yield value and therefore greater thickening, stabilizing, and suspending properties than those developed by the individual components of the mixture. Smectite clays that are particularly effective in combination with Vanzan are Vigum, Van Natural, and Van Gel clay products, which are also available from Vanderbilt Minerals. A weight to weight ratio of Vanzan to Smectite between 1 to 9 and 1 to 2 generally produces the most desirable results. This figure demonstrates the synergism between Vanzan and Vigum. Vanzan xanthan gum provides a combination of benefits unique among the rheology control additives used in water based formulations. Vanzan NF is the general purpose grade suitable for most pharmaceutical and personal care applications. Vanzan NFF is a finely ground powder designed for applications such as tablets and dry mix powder formulas. Vanzan NFC produces clear xanthan gum solutions for applications where product clarity is essential, such as syrups and gels. All pharmaceutical and personal care grades of Vanzan conform to the xanthan gum NF monograph. Vanzan is a general purpose grade suitable for most household, institutional, and industrial applications. Vanzan D provides easy dispersion with rapid viscosity development without the formation of lumps or fish eyes.